What's going on guys, Dude's Aviation back here with another video. Today we'll be doing an airport update of the uh, KGDA Cropland International Airport for you guys. This is number two on the series. I uh, hope you guys will like it. We're doing, we're being pretty consistent here with some flights. Uh, we got a couple airlines in this one that I was not able to show last time. Uh, we have a fairly busy airport. Uh, Concourse B is obviously the busiest. Uh, but otherwise, we've got some interesting stuff. Uh, so let's dig in here. Taking off on runway 11, we have our Southwest 737-700 and the heart livery with the blended wing nuts. This aircraft will be making non-stop service out of Baltimore, Washington, and he's arrived in from there earlier. Here we have our Delta Connection Embraer 170, uh, operated by Republic Airways, uh, which is currently holding short for takeoff. Uh, I'm holding short off of runway 11 uh, for takeoff. Um, with non-stop service to Detroit Metropolitan Wayne International Airport. This route is currently operated on, it is six daily, and it is on the uh, Bombardier CRJ-700, operated by uh, Republic, the Embraer 170, operated by Republic, and the Airbus A320. Then here, concluding the building up line, uh, number three for takeoff, we, is, uh, we have the United uh, 737 800 in the Evo blue color scheme, uh, which will be making a flight non stop out to Houston. Here we have the uh, JetBlue Airbus A320 in the iHeart New York livery. Uh, currently receiving his final boarding call, uh, and he'll be making a short out to uh, he'll be making a flight out to Boston shortly. Uh, he's just getting on some final baggage and passengers. Here we have a JetBlue Airways Airbus A321 Neo. Uh, with the balloon sale, with service out to uh, New York JFK, which is our only Airbus A321 uh, slash A321 Neo route. Um, our we only have uh, it's two daily. It says total of like, six daily flights. Uh, two daily are the uh, A321 Neos, uh, and then the Airbus A320 take the remaining four. Right back there, we have our unfortunately backlit. Uh, Spirit Airlines, Airbus A320, and the uh, Home of the Bear Fair livery, the older one now, the old livery, uh, which will be making a flight out to Dallas, Fort Worth today. He's getting on some baggage and passengers as well. And then we're here concluding our Spirit planes for the update. We have the Airbus A319, uh, which will be making a flight out to Myrtle Beach. Currently, Spirit serves five destinations from the uh, this airport. We have Dallas, Las Vegas, Myrtle Beach, uh, Chicago. Um, in Orlando. So we have some kind of good rotation. Lastly here on uh, Concourse D, we have our JetBlue Airbus A320 and the Barco Hotel uh, at gate D3, which is currently just sitting. Uh, he's just um, sitting around here at the hard stand um, waiting for his gate to open, which will be D2. Um, and he'll be taking this flight down to San Juan. The reason I'm doing this one on the San Juan route twice in a row is because it has the Sharklets, which is uh, which is a better performer for the ETOPS routes. Here at gate uh, C4, we have the Southwest 737-700 uh, with the heart livery and blend of winglets. Again, uh, November 950 Whiskey November is the registration. We're going to load up bags and the tugs on the other side as well as you as you not able to see, actually. Uh, this flight is going to be heading out to Atlanta Archfield Jackson. And last, back there are two last uh, Southwest gates. We have CA to C10, CH closest to us, holding the uh, Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 livery, which will be making a flight over St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we have a few destinations here for Southwest. In fact, we, in fact quite a few of the Southwest flies out of this airport. Atlanta, Chicago Midway, Dallas Luckfield, Houston Hobby, Baltimore, uh, Orlando. I forget the other ones, but, oh, and Phoenix and Los Angeles and San Diego. Um, so yep, this uh, Joe Crown one here, it will be heading out to uh, the St. Louis. And then in the back there, that Hart Scimitar 737-700 uh, will be making our Phoenix Sky Harbor turn today. There we have two aircraft. Uh, right over here is our Alaska Airbus A320 in the Fly With Pride livery with service up to Seattle. And then in the back there, we have that Frontier Airbus A321 uh, with service to Philadelphia. Frontier currently operates two destinations out of this uh, KGDA Crotlin Airport, Philadelphia and Denver. Uh, Philadelphia is once daily on the Airbus 321, Denver is twice daily on the Airbus A320 slash A321. Right here we have our Delta Airlines Airbus A319 uh, pushing back for a flight over to Minneapolis. 
And right here we have our Airbus A320 uh, with service to Atlanta. Starting off concourse B now with our American terminal, American side here. Uh, gate B3, B5, and B7. We have three American 737-800s. This one, this one, and this one. The one closest to us right here is going to be heading out to New York JFK. The one right behind on there is going to be our Dallas-Fort Worth aircraft. And then the one back there is going to be heading out to Charlotte. Then right here, that one, we have the American Airlines Airbus A319 with Charlotte, so service to Miami. And then in the back right here, we have our uh, American Airlines Airbus A321 subbing in for the Airbus A320 uh, for a flight up to Phoenix. We do get the substitutions occasionally on that route. Normally it's performed on the Airbus A319, or sorry, Airbus A320 or the Boeing 737-800. Here we have an American Airlines Airbus A319 at gate B15 uh, with the uh, LUS configuration here. This one's gonna be making a flight up to Chicago here. And then just pushing back right here, we have our American Airlines Airbus A321 with service to Philadelphia. Next up here, we have the uh, American Eagle Embraer 175 operated by Envoy Air. Uh, with service to Washington, DCA. That was Washington Reagan, by the way. And then here we have another Embraer 175 uh, right here, which will be making a flight over to Boston. Back there is the SkyWest CRJ700, uh, SkyWest house colors operated for American Eagle uh, with service over to Nashville. Right here we have a CRJ900 uh, for American Eagle operated by PSA with service to New Orleans. We have another CRJ900 right here with service to Minneapolis. And lastly, here we have another CRJ900 with service to Raleigh. Next up in the back right there, the plane currently in focus is our United 737-800 and the old Continental Globe, li Globe livery with service to Washington Dulles IAD. Uh, that is just a repositioning flight. Uh, it's currently offloading the bags right now. And then right down here, we have a 737-700 in from Chicago. And then right here is our international lineup for this update, just these three little planes. We have a Viva Aerobus, Airbus 320 at the fence tips on the bottom. That's a really rare plane in real life and as a model. Uh, this flight uh, is going to be making a flight down to Guadalajara. Then we have a WestJet 737-700 right there with service to Calgary. Calgary is six times weekly and Toronto is four time, uh, five times weekly. That's the, uh, that are, those are the two WestJet routes. And then in the back there... Concluding the video here is our Mexico Boeing 737-800 uh, with service to Mexico City. Non-stop service to Mexico City on the only Aero Mexico route out of uh, Carlton Airport. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we had another one of these updates and then a couple Tucson updates. And then I have a really exciting airport uh, to announce, which I will do right now because you guys all stayed to the end. I will now review my airport. Comment down below if you do, uh, if you know the airport name, or if you uh, if if you were here to the end to listen to me telling you this. Uh, the new airports can be Manchester International Airport, Manchester Boston Regional Airport, from the um, uh, the in, in New Hampshire. It's not the one in UK. It's the one in New Hampshire. I flew into this one uh, a few months ago. It was a really nice experience, and I love the airport. Uh, so I'd love to recreate it as a model. It will be an exact airport, pretty much. For the most part, we'll have a terminal and part of a runway in a cargo area. So it's gonna be a really fun update, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, besides that, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video as Jeans Aviation is signing off. Toodles.